Hi all, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be discussing about the configuration of helpless teams inside the helpless module of Odoo 60. For that, first let's open the helpless module. Now once you open this module, you can see the helpless overview. So this overview will be based on the teams which you have created. So here you have a pre-created team called the customer care. So the tickets, close tickets, rating and all based on that particular team can be viewed here. So now let's create a new team and see how to configure it. So for that, let's go to the configuration and under configuration, you have the menu called the teams. So I'm clicking on that. Now here you can see the team which is already there in, in this company. Let's create a new team. So I've clicked on create. Now here you have to specify the name of the team. Okay. So I'm giving the name as new service team. Okay. Now here you can describe your team to your co uh, colleagues and customer. That is, you can simply give a description for this team. Okay. So that people can understand wh what is the purpose of this team. Okay. Then here you have the option to choose the company. So automatically the logged in company will be taken here. So currently you can see I'm logged in as Cybrosis. So the company name is taken as Cybrosis itself. So from here, you can choose the companies. Okay, so all the existing companies will come under that. Then here we have the assignment and visibility section. So here we can choose under this visibility, you can choose that which all users have to see this team. That is this team will be visible to whom and all can be chosen from here. So here we have three options, which is invited internal users, all internal users and invited portal users and all internal users. So from this, you can choose who have to see this team. Okay, if you want only invited internal users to see, you can choose this. If you want all internal users to see this team, you can do that. Now currently we have chosen invited portal users and all internal users. Okay, so people belonging to that, those groups can see this team. Okay, then we have follow all teams tickets. Okay, so receive notification whenever tickets are created, rated or discussed on this team. Okay, so you will receive a notification once tickets and all are created corresponding to this team. Now here you can add followers to this team. So here you have the option to add followers. I'm adding Azure Interior. Then let's add Deco Edit. Okay, so this is how you add followers. Okay, then you have the automatic assignment. Okay, so automatic assignment, if I enable it, you can see a new field has come. That is once a lead comes, okay, and a lead is assigned to this team, that that lead will be assigned to the people belonging to this team. Okay, that should be assigned equally. So how that assignment have to take place can be decided from this place. So here you can see each user is assigned an equal number of tickets and each user has an equal number of open tickets. Okay, so this will be distributed in such a way that both of the, if there are two uh, members in this team, for example, if there are two members in this team and uh, one is having two leads and others having three. So what happens is, the, is that when another ticket comes corresponding to this team, the person with the two lead will be assigned the new one. Okay, so this is to balance it. So, so that all the users have equal number of tickets. So you can assign, uh, make it in such a way or you can add it as each user has an equal number of open tickets. Okay, so we'll put the first option and here you can choose which all users you have to consider or which all users belongs to this team. So I'm putting mark demo also. Okay, so currently I've chosen two users, which is Michelle admin and mark demo. Then under the next section, we have the channels. So we have three channels, which is email alias, live chat and website form. So this is nothing but create tickets by sending an email to an alias. Okay, so that email alias and all can be given here. You can configure a custom domain here. Okay, so it's nothing but creating tickets by sending mail. And here we have what live chat. Okay, so this is to uh, you know, be in touch with your visitors. Okay, so here you can view the channels of the live chat. And here you have the 
website form that is to get tickets through online form and you can choose the website in which this should be enabled okay so that's the channel section next we have track and bill time so this is to track the time that we spend on the tickets okay so once you start working on a ticket you have an option to click on the start button here we've done a video on that you can refer it Thank you. okay so if you just check this time sheet and also time billing it is possible to track the time you spend on that particular ticket okay so here you can choose the project if you want okay so if you assign a project here once you track the time it will go under this project okay so i've chosen field service and here you have the time billing that is bills uh, bill the time that you have spent on the tickets okay based on the time the billing will be done that's the track and bill time okay you can track time as well as bill the time which is tracked next we have the performances okay this is the sla policies sla policies are nothing but service level agreements and you can you know set the sla policies only if you enable it okay you can see the sla policies inside the configuration sla policies okay so for that you have to enable this uh, you know to get the sla policies for this team also okay now here you have the option uh, to set the working hours that is the standard 40 hours per week is chosen here so you can similarly choose from the options there now sla policies are usually to make sure that tickets are handled on time then here you have the customer ratings okay so from here you can get the ratings of the customer whether the customers are satisfied or not okay so you can also publish the team's rating on your website for that just check it and also you can set an email template on stages so when only when you set an email template on stages once the stage moves the uh, rating mail will be sent to the customer and only then he can rate it right then we have the self-service now under self-service we have the knowledge module which comes first so knowledge you know it's a new uh, what module right so if you enable it this will be included and if you want to include any article inside the knowledge module here you can choose the article okay then here we have the e-learning so this is for sharing the presentation videos and all so you can just enable it if you want and if you want to add any courses corresponding to the team you can choose it from here then you have closure by customer that is allow the customer to close their own tickets okay once it's done the customers have the option to close it by their own then you have the community form okay i mean forum uh, which is to you know answer the questions and all so custom once you allow it the customers can answer each other's questions on the community forum okay now which forum and all you can choose it from here okay then we have the automatic closing that is the inactive tickets will be closed automatically and you have to set a day day limit like after which how much days this should be closed automatically and all and in what all stages you are allowing the automatic closing and all it can be set from here okay so that comes under self-service so these are all uh, you know the self as a name itself it's self-service that is the customer can reply on each other's forum they can close the what leads that is the tickets and you have the e-learning the knowledge and all okay next we have the after sales section now after sales under after sales you have refunds returns field service coupons and repair now if you enable all these you can see this under the ticket assigned to this team okay so here you have the option to refund it okay you can issue credit notes only if you enable the refunds and also you have the returns okay if you want to return products and all you can do that here we have the field service that is the on-site interventions then you have coupon okay you can give coupons or free products or you can even give discounts on free products okay then you have repair that is to send broken products for repair so these are the main things which comes under the team and here you have certain smart buttons okay so once it it's published you can go to website and see the preview of the uh, team here you have the number of tickets assigned to the team hours recorded that is how many hours this team has worked we'll you know record the time once we start working on a ticket right that time will be recorded here 
the number of repairs and also the SLI policies can be seen inside. So now if you just go to the website, you can see the preview. Okay, so this is the, okay, so this is an error message. Let's go back. Okay. So here you can see the uh, preview of the team. Okay. So these are the main things which comes under the team configuration. Okay. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.